This engine is from a 1990 Porsche 911. Today, I'll be putting it back together. First thing I need to do is assemble this oil pump and counter shaft and that's going to consist of flipping the oil pump, actually we are going this way so the oil pump will be in this orientation and we'll add this little sleeve here to the oil pump Then the counter shaft goes onto that. And the most important part is getting the chains hooked up. So these are the two timing chains. They are identical. We're gonna slip one on the other side. And that's, the, this inner one is the one I'll be picking it up from. Gonna sit like that. And we'll open up the next one. Thing. Just slip it on the outer cog here and just get it ready for install. All right, before I do anything and I go to install this crankshaft back into the engine case, I'm gonna thoroughly inspect it and make sure that all my rods are moving connect, uh, freely. I'm gonna make sure that my number eight uh, bearing is oriented correctly. I have assembly lube on all of these um, journals and that's it, ready to go. Before I do anything though, I'm gonna use this little trick that I use. I'm gonna slip a uh, piece of this fuel line through the rods that I wanna keep up so they're not slipping back down while I'm uh, trying to install this crankshaft. So we're gonna go on every other Connecting rod, we'll just go right through the small end, pull it through, and I usually just give it a little quick tie at the top, tuck it in on itself, and that should be enough to hold it while I transport it over to the case.
right, so super important now. We just want to clean out all of this uh, upper engine case. Even though this thing has been fully ultrasonic cleaned already, uh, just want to triple check and make sure that everything is kind of oil free and get the bearing surfaces ready um, for their bearings. So do that, we'll shoot it with some compressed air and then it should be ready for its bearings. So this top section of the case doesn't have any oiling holes. That's only in the bottom part of the case. So all you're gonna have to do here is line up the tangs and pop them in. Again, everything has been measured twice and cleaned thoroughly. So I should have no trouble putting this back together and getting many, many more miles out of this thing. So now that the top case half is prepped and ready to go, um, we have to start talking about the case sealant that I'm gonna use, which is the Loctite 574. Um, I've, had, I've had great luck using this in the past. I've done quite a few engines, and I know there's other brands and kind of uh, you know, types of case sealants out there, but again, uh, this is an anaerobic case sealant, uh, which means it starts its curing process in the absence of oxygen. So um, again, there's other brands out there, but I've had nothing but good uh, results with this. So I'm gonna continue using this. Uh, another thing people constantly yell about is these acid brushes uh, that I use to apply the case sealant or spread it out. Uh, I know these come uh, with loose fibers and uh, you know, they tend to come out when you, know, you least expect it. But what I do is I prime them, I pretty much just pull the fibers or any loose fibers out before I use them. And I'm just super careful and make sure there's no fibers left at the mating surface before I uh, mate the two case halves together. So um, I'm going to do one final check of both sides. I'm going to make sure that the rods are in the correct position and we're going to get the two case halves together.
So that does it for the bottom end assembly of this 1990 Porsche 964 engine. On uh, in the next video, I'll most likely be doing pistons, cylinders, cylinder heads, um, cam boxes, cams, and most likely timing it as well. So uh, if you like everything, stay tuned. Uh, there's a lot more to come. Uh, leave your likes and comments down below and give me any advice that you would, uh, you'd want to share uh, for the direction of this channel. Thanks again. See you on the next one.